This is the Pony Prepper Bill. Today is April 23rd, 2021. Today, I'm at the Warren Grove Air to Ground Range. A lot of activity going on the last couple days. Fla uh, planes flying over. We had uh, planes dropping parachutes at night. And uh, I'm here at Bombing Range Road. Let's go take a trip down here and see what we see. Holy shit, this is bumpy. Alright, I am on the Warren Grove bombing range road. I'm just leaving the the main gate. And I am doing I can't read it. 7.5 miles an hour. If I go any faster, my truck will start hopping like crazy. This road is... That was 12 miles an hour. You can't go too fast on this road without your truck hopping like crazy. Your door jarring, your window shattering. There's a nice little lake over here though, but... God damn. The last couple nights... And the last couple of days, we've had a lot more activity, military activity than usual. The, fly, the planes usually do fly over our house and shake the house every now and then. The last couple of days, there's been more and more activity. They're going from 6.30 at night till 4 o'clock in the morning, flying over our house. Two days ago, we have Black Hawk helicopters a lot to fly over. But now, two days ago, I saw three in a row, there was three. One went straight over on my house. Then one, one went. He was going west. One went south, and one went north. They just split up. That happened twice in a couple hours. I've seen a lot more Apache helicopters flying over my house. The last couple of nights, they've been flying the cargo ships or the bomber planes or whatever they are, the real big ones. They've been flying over our house, but the last couple of nights, they've been flying real low and slow and usually you know they fly from here to delaware or whatever and they're they're a little bit higher and they're kind of cruising the last couple nights they've been almost like hovering going so slow well we went out last night we saw a bunch of lights in the sky some kind of big airplane big four lights we're like what the hell is that it's big bright lights and we were right down the street from our house at the coil airfield we pulled in and there's a couple giant planes and they're dropping stuff over there uh parachutes and there's a guy out there with a camera and he's ex-military or military he looked very military he's sitting there he knew exactly what they were doing he said they're ramping up uh practice and they're dropping from the plane was from dover delaware not from mcguire air force or fort dix right around a corner which is just like 10 miles they're coming from Dover, Delaware, over here, dropping, he said, like water containers and uh, water, something in water, in parachutes. And earlier, they were dropping uh, paratroopers or whatever. They were dropping people in parachutes. They're doing it at night. They've been doing it a couple times during the day, but more at night. It's a little windy now, but they were over my house earlier, so I flew out here. Well, not flu. I drove out here real quick. I came up here. I went to Coil Field for a while. I was talking to a guy out there. And I don't know if you can see me. The sun is really bright. It's windy as hell. It's warm, but it's windy. But this road here at, Coil, at uh, Warren Grove, they made it wider last year. It's real thick. They got this crushed concrete or stone out here. But it's real rough. You can see where tracked vehicles have been, and it's all bumpy. Usually you can come in here at 20 miles an hour. Today I got halfway down. Wind's picking up. I came halfway down the road and I was doing two miles an hour and my truck was just hopping. It was so bumpy. I pulled up here to make a video and I pull up and I'm looking around. I get out. Well, I hear vehicles coming. There was two white pickup trucks full with military people in it. 
they came flying up this road in a cloud of dust and went through the gate. Now the gate, the first gate is closed or open. The second one, I don't know if you can see that right now, but that's closed. So they came flying by me, a cloud of dust. Right here, you can't do more than two miles an hour, maybe five. Your truck will hop. They flew in here. I didn't have my camera out yet. But I've been trying to wait, see if anybody else came. I backed up over here into the woods a little bit. A siren just went off. It sounded like an air raid siren. Only went off for 10 seconds. So I'm expecting more vehicles, but nothing's coming. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm going to videotape a little bit and see what we can see. There's the main gate, which is open. But it says right on it, you know. No trespassing. And then the other gate back there is closed, but they must open it when those vehicles came because they never stopped. And there's people up there. Wind shaking the camera like crazy. But there's people up there on the tower. Damn, the wind is shaking everything. Damn, I just missed it. There it goes. Son of a bitch. So, talk about, about being a day late and a dollar short. As I was filming that, I showed the gate. I was filming the people on top of the, the tower out there. And I had the camera, because there's nobody out here. I had the camera, and I'm standing in the roadway. Well, as I'm filming that tower, I hear a car coming, hauling ass. I look up, a car came through that gate that wasn't there a second ago. A black car with a bunch of people in it came flying out, <laughs> out of the, the tower area or the air base, whatever you want to call it, and I, they were hauling ass. I moved my camera, got the hell out of the way. I think I got a clip of them just going past me. There's the other tower they were working on. They put a new roof or top on it. Didn't used to look like that. So I'm not sure what's going on up there. But they're looking out over the airstrip out there. And there is another tower there. It is windy as hell out here. It's actually shaking the camera. And that's a heavy camera. So, I'm going to go down to the entrance, I guess. I've been sitting out here for about 45 minutes to an hour. I uh, haven't heard any more sirens. I haven't seen any other vehicles coming and going. Uh, there's a Humvee back there. Uh, he's at a, you know, it's a military base, I guess, so that's normal. All right, I hear jets. There they are. The jet, oh. We got a lot of activity up here. Three jets. I can't even see my viewfinder, so I can't see them. 
wish I had something to cover my hands off. for me to catch up. If I have it on autofocus, I can't catch them. It, it focuses in on them and then the trees and everything else. Here comes two of them at once. Well, there's five of them. Okay, so I just left the Warren Grove bombing range and I am on 539 heading towards home towards Coil Airfield where all the para parachutes and stuff are dropping. I'm on my way and of course it's three and a half, five miles by the way the crow flies driving it's like 20 minutes. Up in the air, I see two big bombers or cargo planes, two jets flying over Coil Airfield. So I'm sure by the time I get there, I mean, I, I can't go too fast. I'm doing 60 now. I got a truck in front of me with a trailer, so I can't go any faster. So now they're doing the drops and stuff over on Coil Field. I'm gonna try and get there and film it but the last couple times I rode by when they were supposedly doing stuff, they had a bunch of cars out front, which weren't there earlier. But they usually have the gate open and two Humvees with military personnel with the, the guns and everything to keep people out. You can't go in there anyway. It's a military or an airfield. You can't go in there anyway. But with that gate open, when they're doing stuff, they got two Humvees blocking the entrance. I tried filming at one time from across the street. I got the camera just filming across the street to see what they're doing and two soldiers started walking across the street with their their guns looking at me like uh, what are you doing and I didn't want to be some kind of like crazy terrorist or something so I left uh, that truck just turned I still gotta get down to the main highway and make a left So, I made it here to Coil Field. Ain't nothing going on. I missed it. I missed the planes. Of course, I was distracted because I went to the other location. Ooh, the wind is picking up. Nothing here but a pickup truck way out there with two people sitting in it. <sighs> missed everything. So, that's what I got for now. I'm going to sit here for a couple more minutes, see if anything happens, which I don't think anything is. This is Pawnee Prepper Bill signing off.